Okay, great. Um, thank you everyone for coming this afternoon. This is a special meeting of the Northampton License Commission, Wednesday, May 1st. Uh, this meeting um, is being Zoom recorded and present this afternoon myself, Natasha Yakovlev and Commissioner Jen Jennifer Ewers. And is anyone here for public comment? Seeing none, jump right in. Um, Agenda item number three, we have an application for a short-term liquor license for the International Language Institute. This is for your event taking place tomorrow, May 8th. Today, May 8th. Oh, no, sorry. Next week, May 8th. <laughs> Next week. Yes. <laughs> 2024 from 5 to 8 p.m. at 33 Holly Street. This event is, for, is called Giving Voice, and it is a wine and malt license that is being sought. Hello. Can you unmute, Laura? I did um here we go. there she is hi there we go hi yes that's correct all of that information <laughs> excellent um can you we, we i see that all documents are submitted is there anything you want to share about the event just um for the record um it's our annual fundraiser that we have um it's to support the free english program um, for immigrants and refugees and we are super excited <laughs> to be having it at um, the Center for the Arts this year. Yeah, that's great. It's your first year having it there, right? Uh, we actually had it there two years ago. And then oh, okay. last year we were at Bombix. And so yep. now we're back. Um, okay, great. No, that's a, it's a, a beautiful venue for something like this. Yeah, yeah. It's nice to see the renovated space. It looks beautiful. Yeah, yeah it's great. Um, okay, anything else that you would like to add? No, thanks. Okay, Jennifer, I think we're ready for a motion unless you have questions for Laura. No, I don't have any questions. Thank you for submitting all the paperwork. So I move to approve the application for a short-term liquor license for the International Language Institute as detailed on item three of the agenda. I second. And Natasha? Yes. And Helen, or excuse me, Jennifer, sorry. Yes. <laughs> Great, thank you, Laura. All right, item number four. Oh, do you need a roll call, Annie? I did just do it and messed it up. And That's I great. Called, I called okay. down in. <laughs> oh, <laughs> right. <laughs> right over the head. I am here today. Um, item number four, application for a short-term liquor license for the Academy of Music, 274 Main Street, Saturday, May 11th, 7 to 10 p.m. This is for the Preacher Lost and Comedy Show, and a wine and malt license is being requested with a fee waiver. Hello, Melanie. How are you? Well, how are you? Good, thank you. Okay. Um, is there anything different about this event from anything else you guys do? Nope, standard. Okay, Jennifer, do you have any questions? No questions, no, nope, thank you. They completed the paperwork. Yep, and we are ready for a motion. Perfect, so I move to approve the application for a short-term liquor license for the Academy of Music for their event on Saturday, May 11th, as detailed in agenda item number four. And to include the fee, fee waiver. I move to approve the application for short-term liquor license for the Academy of Music as detailed on item four of the agenda, and we will include a fee waiver. I'll second. And Natasha? Yes. And Jennifer? Yes. Awesome. Thanks, Melanie. Right, thank you. Moving on to agenda item number five, we have applications for temporary outdoor dining extension of premises for the purposes of summer on strong. Annie, do you want me to read out each um, participant or can I just say as outlined in the agenda? Yeah, I think that's fine. Okay, as uh, item number five, applications for temporary outdoor dining extension of premises for the purposes of summer on strong as outlined in the agenda. Um, and hello, Deb and Robbie. <laughs> hello. Hi. How are you guys? Good, how are you? Fantastic, how are you? Good. It's nice to flub through a meeting in friendly company <laughs> like yourselves. Probably helps a little bit. <laughs> um, anything new that we can look forward to for Summer on Strong in addition to just looking forward to it in general? Yes. Well, this year, Progression um, would like to be out there, but they are not going to be able to manage their truck. So we have... Uh, ask them if we can manage their truck and they have said yes we have a um contract in motion we're just waiting to find out if it's a go or not and um we're gonna besides just having 
There'll be four kegs of Progressions beer and the other four taps, we're gonna have um, uh, rosé, another kind of white wine, uh, mixed cocktails, non-alcoholic cocktails, and non-alcoholic draft beer. Uh, we're also gonna have like apple juice for kids, um, other kinds of juices and sodas that are all non-alcoholic. They'll have um, food, all already like packaged food, so that we don't have to have any worries with the health department, like yep. chips and pretzels and, and cookies and prepackaged types of cheeses and things like that. That's awesome. Everybody is really excited for Summer on Strong. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Well, we are too. We are too. We just uh, ordered all the plants the other day. So yeah. everything is taken care of. Yeah. And um, Lowe's is going to come down and help us plant. Okay. And uh, everybody's looking for, I mean, the whole entire street's looking forward to it. Yeah. No, people are talking about it. It's like, when is Summer on Strong? When is Summer on Strong? <laughs> Good. Yeah, yeah it reminds me of, of Dan Yakuzo and how he used to say an event had to have legs. And this one, this one would make him proud. It certainly has legs. Thank you. Thank you. Thank so, you. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, Jennifer, do you have any questions or comments regarding Summer on Strong? Oh, my comment is that I'm very, I'm very excited for Summer on Strong. And uh, I don't have any questions for Deborah Robbie because I mean they know they know the rules of the of the event. So I'm very comfortable. Um, with the changes that they're proposing, because I mean, they, they are the backbone to the program. They're responsible license holders. And, uh, and I think this is great. This is great it, for anyone else to come in. I would be, you know, I would have more questions, but since it's, it's East side, it's a known entity and I am very comfortable. No great. further questions. Wonderful. Then we are ready for a motion. So I move to approve the temporary extension of premises for LILO Incorporated doing business as Eastside Grill as shown on plan on file with the license commission for the purpose of Summer on Strong to include 2,800 square feet with a capacity of 110 and to include the sidewalk in between uh, and limited to transportation of alcoholic beverages from May 21st, 2024 through September 9th of 2024. I second. Natasha. Yes. And Jennifer. Yes. Excellent. All right, so we need a separate motion for each one then, Annie? Yeah, yep. So thank you, Deb and Robbie. Thank you. Thank, thank you so very much. much. Bye, have a good day. Thank you, you, too. you too, appreciate thank it. You. All right. Next motion. So I move to approve the temporary extension of premises for Local Burger Incorporated as shown on plan on file with the License Commission for the purposes of Summer on Strong to include 600 square feet and the sidewalk in between limited to transportation of alcoholic beverages only from May 21st through, from May 21st, 2024 through September 9th, 2024. Second. Natasha? Yes. And Jennifer? Yes. So I'll just keep going. So we're going to move to move approval of the temporary extension of premises for UNI Incorporated doing business as Moshi Moshi as shown on plan on file with the license commission for purposes of summer on strong to include the sidewalk in between limited to transportation of alcoholic beverages only from May 21st, 2024 through September 9th, 2024. Second. Natasha. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. So I move approval of the temporary extension of premises to Rios Bioxis LLC. I'm sorry, I mispronounced that net. Bioxis <laughs> LLC right doing doing business as Homestead as shown on plan on file with the license commission for purposes of summer on strong with 10 tables and 42 chairs to include the sidewalk in between, but limited to transportation of alcoholic beverages only from May 21st, 24 through September 9th, 2024. A second. Natasha. Yes. And Jennifer. Yes. Moving on to item number six, we have applications for temporary outdoor dining extension of premises into public spaces as outlined in the agenda item. 
and it is all the same on last as last year. So we're ready for a whole bunch of motions. Yep, yep. And all the paperwork's complete. I'm just doing one final check. So I move to approve the temporary extension of premises for very limited doing business as Fitzwillie's Toasted Owl as shown on plan on file with the license commission to include two parking spots on Lower Main Street for six tables and 24 chairs and to include the sidewalk in between limited to transportation of alcoholic beverages only through November 15th, 2024. I'll second. Natasha. Yes. And Jennifer. Jennifer? Yes. Excellent. Yep, I'm going to move to approve the temporary extension of premises for Washit and Ware Incorporated doing business as Jake's Restaurant as shown on plan on file with the License Commission to include 130 square feet on the sidewalk for six patrons to include the sidewalk in between limited to transportation of alcoholic beverages only through November 15th, 2024. Second. Natasha. Yes. Uh, Jennifer. Yes. So we'll keep going. So I move to approve the temporary extension of premises for more hospitality incorporated doing business as the dirty truth as shown on plan on file with the license commission to include one and a half parking spots on Lower Main Street with six picnic tables and two round tables and to include the sidewalk in between limited to transportation of alcoholic beverages only through November 15th, 2024. Second. Natasha. Yes. And Jennifer. Yes. So I move to approve the temporary extension of premises applications for Think Tank Brewers, LLC, doing business as Progression Brewing Company, as shown on plans on file with the License Commission to include 10 tables and 40 chairs in parking spots on Pearl Street to include the sidewalk in between, limited to transportation of alcoholic beverages only, and the courtyard area of the park adjacent to the back door of the brewery on Railroad Avenue to include 11 tables and 24 chairs through November 15th, 2024. I will second. Natasha? Yes. And Jennifer? Yes. Next, I move to approve the temporary extension of premises for Local Burger Incorporated as shown on plan, on file with the License Commission to include nine tables, 32 chairs, and two and a half parking spots on Strong Avenue, and to include the sidewalk in between, limited to transportation of alcoholic beverages only through November 15th, 2024. I will second. And Natasha? Yes. And Jennifer? Yes. I move next to approve the temporary extension of premises for VS Biasius LLC doing business as Homestead. I apologize for my mispronunciation as shown on plan on file with the license oh, commission. You know what? Sorry. Sorry. You, you're, you're moving too fast for me. They actually are not going out on Strong Avenue before summer on Strong. Um, so usually they do like familiars is out now and you local yep. burgers out now but and usually homestead is but they didn't do it this year so they're only doing summer on strong and we just approved them didn't we yeah we just approved them in this in agenda item number five so we can disregard okay and we can go to we can go we can to, go to on news next yes okay are you ready I'm ready. Okay. I move to approve the temporary extension of premises for Amanu's Cafe as shown on the plan on file with the License Commission to include one and a half parking spots with six tables and 24 chairs on Lower Main Street and to include the sidewalk in between limited to transportation of alcoholic beverages only through November 15th, 2024. I will second. N Natasha? Yes. And Jennifer. Yes. 
I move to approve the temporary extension of premises for the Roost Northampton LLC, as shown on plan on file with the License Commission, to include three benches along the brick wall outside the Bridge Street entrance, with three tables, three folding chairs, to include the sidewalk in between, limited to transportation of alcoholic beverages only through November 15th, 2024. I second. Natasha? Yes. And Jennifer. Yes. I move to approve the temporary extension of premises for Gombo Oyster LLC Bar as shown on plan on file with the License Commission to include three parking spots on Main Street and two tables on the sidewalk contiguous with the restaurant to include the sidewalk in between limited to transportation of alcoholic beverages only through November 15th, 2024. Second. Natasha. Yes. And Jennifer. Yes. I make a motion to approve the temporary extension of premises for St. Ari Singh, Incorporated doing business as India Palace as shown on plan on file with the License Commission to include two parking spots on Lower Main Street for six tables and 24 chairs and to include the sidewalk in between limited to transportation of alcoholic beverages only through November 15th, 2024. A second. And Natasha? Yes. And Jennifer? Yes. I move to approve the temporary extension of premises for Azad Barat Incorporated doing business as India House, as shown on plan on file with the License Commission to include three parking spots on State Street directly in front of the restaurant for 18 patrons and to include the sidewalk in between, limited to transportation of alcoholic beverages only through November 15th, 2024. Second. Natasha? Yes. And Jennifer? Yes. I move to approve the temporary extension of premises for Veracruz Foods Incorporated doing business as La Veracruzana as shown on plan on file with the License Commission to include 1.5 parking spots on Lower Main Street and to include the sidewalk in between, limited to transportation of alcoholic beverages only through November 15th, 2024. Second. And Natasha. Yes. And Jennifer. Yes. I move to approve the temporary extension of premises for Zangara Limited, doing business as Packards, as shown on plan on file with the License Commission to include two parking spaces on Masonic Street, totaling 396 square feet to include the sidewalk in between, limited to transportation of alcoholic beverages only through November 15th, 2024. Second. Natasha? Yes. Jennifer? Yes. Okay. We you move to approve the temporary extension of premises for Iconica Social Club, LLC, as shown on plan on file with the License Commission to include six parking spots in the Masonic Street parking lot directly in front of one Amber Lane to include the sidewalk in between, limited to transportation of alcoholic beverages only, through November 15th, 2024. Second. And Natasha? Yes. And Jennifer? Yes. Wait, we're getting there. We are getting there. We're close. Item number seven, applications for temporary outdoor dining extension of premises onto private property as outlined in the agenda. Okay. Are you ready? Ready. I make a motion to approve the temporary extension of premises for Masa Mexicano LLC as shown on plan on file with the license commission to include approximately uh, 1,700 square feet with nine tables and 32 chairs to include the sidewalk in between limited to transportation of alcoholic beverages only through November 15th, 2024. A second. Natasha? Yes. Jennifer? Yes. I 
I make a motion to approve the temporary extension of premises for Saratoga Sports Bar Incorporated doing business as the office shown on the plan on file with the license commission to include approximately 300 square feet with six tables and 15 chairs through November 15th, 2024. Second. Natasha. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. I make a motion to approve the temporary extension of premises for drawing board brewery LLC as shown on plan on file with the license commission to include the attached patio behind 36 Main Street through November 15th, 2024. Second. Natasha. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. I move to approve the temporary extension of premises for Rios. The, is this right, Annie, for Homestead Reish, again? It's Riesch Boxes. And but this is correct. I, I thought we just pulled the homestead off. Yes, because this, this is private property. They have a patio mm -hmm. in the back that they haven't got it, got it, got it. Okay. Yeah. So let me start over. I make a motion to approve the temporary extension of premises for I, I wasn't listening. Riosh. Boxes LLC doing business as Homestead as shown on plan on file with the license commission to include the 600 square foot back patio with seven tables and 26 chairs through November 15th, 2024. Second. Natasha. Yes. And Jennifer. Yes. I'll make a motion to approve the temporary extension of premises for Notch 8 Incorporated doing business as the deck as shown on plan on file with the license commission and to include 1,200 square feet of tent space contiguous to the deck through November 15th, 2024. Second. Natasha. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. Thank you, Jennifer. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> That was a marathon of motions. <laughs> There's no easy way around it. There is no easy way. I had a year to prepare for it, but it was still. <laughs> <laughs> you did awesome. Um, do we have any new business? No, then. No new uh, business. Would you like to make your final motion to adjourn? <laughs> <laughs> Seems fitting. Are you sure we're not approving minutes or anything, Annie? Where really this is it? Yeah, it's this was a special meeting. We'll approve minutes and all the other stuff at our regular meeting on the 17th. Perfect. So I make a motion to adjourn today's meeting. I will second. Natasha? Yes. And Jennifer? Yes. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you.